Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Unity 3D tutorial. Today I actually got a wonderful suggestion from you guys whilst I was streaming which is one of the things I wanted to do um, was to get more suggestions and yes yes the minions are, are ridiculous here um, I've just been working down on them for a bit but last time we pretty much got this click to move um, type script thing going on here like this right and basically your guy would move and um, uh, he just moved like that and if you try and move through objects he had no pathfinding on him well first things first whenever somebody watched my tutorial they came onto my stream and said hey I found an easy solution to your pathfinding and I was amazed just uh, at people actually watch the bloody thing and then um, give me feedback and stuff like that so so today I'm gonna teach you how easy it actually was so instead of spending 33 minutes doing it this is probably only gonna take um, just 10 minutes of explanation of how it works really um, so basically all we had was a received movement script and a send info script right now the best thing about this is that the send info script doesn't change at all the vector 3 is still being sent through the exact same way the received movement script on the other hand is the one we're changing so if we open that up right um, and we go up to our received movement right here so basically all of this is not obsolete either because we can actually keep everything kind of the same right all these three need to be the same and this graphics the only thing we need to add is something called a nav mesh, mesh agent and we want to get the nav mesh agent of the object itself right so we had a cube right and so if you do not know what's happening right now I really would recommend that you go and watch my previous tutorial I know it's a quite a long one but you can skip through to um, the pieces that you actually need I do a lot of explanation in it, so that's probably why um, public we go and go nav mesh agent right there and then we're just going to call it something like nav okay um, and so once we've got that we're going to go into start and we want it to um, get our nav mesh, mesh agent whenever um, our game object is instantiated okay so we got to go nav dot equals get component and within that component it's as easy as nav mesh agent okay we got the brackets there close it off and now we're gonna go down to this update function and this is obsolete right because what what the pathfinding actually does and I'll comment this out for um, just in case we want to use it again some for some whatever reason um, oh, oh no. there we go um, <clears throat> comment this out and we're going to type in this one so if because uh, the nav mesh agent has its own like little codes within it and so if nav dot destination because it's actually made for pathfinding um, is not equal to new position right which means that if the destination of our path and our position that we want to travel are not the same then this will continue um, and we want new position and we'll make sure that the new position is not nothing like um, null right and then basically within that then we're going to go nav dot destination equals new position and that is literally it that's all we all we needed for this whole thing so we can go and test it now because you saw me testing it before right now it's a little different the one thing I do oh actually I should probably teach you some so in game here we go we got to go to our resources folder and grab our cube our player test and in the nav mess agent here you have all these kind type of settings and stuff like this so I've um, ramped up my angular speed to 720 but you don't need to because I believe that this is at 160 was its original oh, that's a big number um, and our speed can go back down to let's say uh, five maybe um, because I've just changed a whole bunch of stuff so the radius and stuff like that that it's pretty much uh, set to by default is probably the perfect settings um, for a cube mainly different settings for other things but here anyway, we'll go ahead and test this and play and we'll select our cube and here we go so the thing I don't like about it is that it's got this acceleration towards it and you cannot change this you can add something called stop breaking but then that means that it comes up with a whole bunch of little bugs and stuff like that and it's a it's a very weird way to do it but the best part about this is if I click on this side and then I click over here it's going to go around it's not actually going to you know, even attempt to go through and the thing is it can go through the intricate I'll call it intricate detail even though it's not it will select its best best path which currently is around there apparently yep and look at that and it's go doing its thing 
And so that's actually one of the most amazing things. Now I forgot the username of the guy. I think it's Mujix, but I I'm, 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 I'll chuck his username in the description to thank him because it was actually one of the most simplest things that I overlooked because I started learning the Ace Star Pathfinding system um, before I started learning uh, Unity's Pathfinding because I read online that it was terrible and I should not use it. But um, Ace Star is a little bit better. So the one thing that I noticed was that it it, it is a bit weird using this pathfinding system for your main character. So what I did use it for was my minions over here and I did a bit of a test and they actually work quite well with that um, system over here because the acceleration looks a bit more natural whereas the player needs to be um, kind of incredibly quick on his feet and stuff like that so turning in all this stuff needs to be a lot faster. So I'm probably going to end up using the A star pathfinding system um, just so I can show you guys an advanced method for this, not the easiest method. But that's basically it guys, it's incredibly simple. Thank you so much for watching, this is, um, this has been quite, I got three uploads done in a very short amount of time. And I might stream tonight as well, because, uh, I'm doing working with minions and people might, you know, think. And anyway, oh, I'll, when I finish the minions, of course, I'll upload, uh, some code for you guys so you can use them um, as well because they're incredibly easy and right now they're not actually attacking the tower for something to do the tower actually okay well enough talking uh, i need to get to work so thank you very much for watching guys and have a good day